With the Freeform tool, you are free to explore smooth, organic shapes that are difficult to achieve using normal, history-based parametric modeling commands. You can combine freeform shapes with parametric modeling and direct editing techniques to create compelling designs that are demanded in today's competitive marketplace. You will explore freeform primitives and editing in this lesson. The primitive shapes are made from T-splines that are specially designed for freeform editing. A T-spline surface can be thought of as a NURBS surface which contains rows of control points. On the home page, click the Part button to create a new part. On the ribbon, ensure the Create Freeform panel is visible. If not, right-click the ribbon, click Show Panels, and select the Create Freeform panel from the list to enable the 3D Model tab on the ribbon. On the ribbon, 3D Model tab, Create Freeform panel, expand the Primitives toolset. Boxes, cylinders, and spheres are just a few of the available shapes. Click Box from this menu. The Box dialog box appears with options to specify dimensions, faces, modeling direction, and symmetry. To place the box, click the XY plane and then click the projected origin point. A preview appears. For the length, type 200 millimeters and six faces. For the width, type 100 millimeters and four faces. Set the height to 50 millimeters and four faces. Click OK. Form 1 appears in the browser. Orient the model so the z-axis is pointed upwards. The model appears with the default settings of smoothing enabled and translucency disabled. Depending upon the model, sometimes it is easier to work with a blocky shaped model. Click Toggle Smooth to change the appearance. To enable transparency, click Toggle Translucent. Toggle to a smooth model. From the Create Freeform panel, select Cylinder from the Primitive drop-down menu. Select the XY plane. It should be visible, but it was not necessary to leave the model transparent. The cursor would have selected through the model to find the origin planes. Click a point to the right of the box to set the cylinder center point. Set the radius to 75 millimeters and 8 faces. Set the height to 80 millimeters and 8 faces. Click OK. Notice that the more faces you add, the sharper the corners and edges become. Of course, more faces increases the file size and impacts performance during editing, so be aware of this as you are entering the number of faces. The Edit panel contains the Edit Form command. This is such an often used tool that it has been added to the marking menu. Right-click and select Edit Form. The Edit Form dialog box appears. The Filter group allows you to control whether you can pick just points, edges, faces, or all objects. The Selection options allow you to pick loops and change the smooth status without exiting the dialog box. The Transform group provides options that control the manipulator. Mode All displays arrows and grips to move, rotate, and scale the selection. You can change the mode to limit your editing tools. Use the Space buttons to toggle coordinate systems. You can also relocate the Manipulator Triad using the Locate tool, and Add Faces using the Extrude button. When you enable Soft Modification, Additional tools appear that allow you to control the effect on adjacent faces. The buttons near the bottom of the dialog allow you to undo, redo, and reset the edits you have performed. 
Click a face on the top of the cylinder. Now click an edge, followed by a point. Notice how the manipulator triad follows you. Cycle the space between World, View, and Local to change how the coordinate system aligns. Now change Transform Mode to Rotation. Notice how the manipulator changes to only rotate grips. Change to Translation and observe the arrow and plane grips. Although the filter group contains a button to select a body, you can quickly select a body by double-clicking. Select the entire cylinder. Translate it forward and to the right. Click OK to keep the changes. Next, you will align the cylinder with the box. Click the front face on the view cube. From the Edit panel, click Align Form. Click the center point of the cylinder, and then click the XZ plane from the Origin folder in the browser. Click OK, and the cylinder aligns to the plane. Select the entire cylinder, activate Edit Form, and then move the cylinder so it intersects with the box as shown. Click OK. Up to this point, the model could have been built with solid primitives. Where freeform modeling takes its advantage is in the ability to transform the faces, edges, and points. Click the front left bottom corner on the view cube. Toggle translucent to off. On the left face of the box, Select the center, upper, right face. Activate Edit Form. Drag the face out to about negative 20 millimeters. Notice how the model changes asymmetrically. You could have enabled symmetry while you were creating the box, but you can always enable symmetry later, as is the case now. Click Undo to restore the face. Click Cancel. Click Symmetry on the Edit panel. Click the center top left face and then the center top right face. Click OK to create symmetry within the box. Activate Edit Form and then select the center upper left face on the end of the box. Drag out about negative 15 millimeters. Notice how the edit is now symmetrical. Click in the graphics window to release the selected face. Next, you will improve the hand grip for this device. Referring to the side of the box and starting from the left end, press Shift and select the lower eight faces on the side. Do not include the faces near the cylinder. In the dialog box, click Locate, and then click the point at the top, center, of the faces. Drag the x-axis rotation to 20 degrees. Click OK. On the side of the box, double-click a horizontal edge between the top and second row of faces. This should select a loop. Activate Edit Form. Select Scale Mode. Drag the sphere at the center of the manipulator to scale in all directions. Drag to an approximate scale of 1.1. Click in the Graphics window to release the selection. Now you will edit what will be the display area of the device. Click the bottom face on the view cube to see the side of the model. Use a crossing window, select the top two rows of faces on the cylinder. Select Rotate Mode. 
Then select Locate and pick the top vertical point along the center line of the cylinder nearest the box. You can orbit the model if necessary. Rotate negative 5 degrees. Click OK. These edits would have been more difficult with traditional parametric modeling commands. Nonetheless, you can apply parametric modeling to the freeform model. On the ribbon, Exit Panel, select Finish Freeform, and the shapes become two solid bodies, as indicated in the browser. Click Combine from the Modify panel. Click the two bodies and click OK. A single solid body is formed. Apply a 5 mm fillet to the edge between the box and cylinder. Next, shell the part with a 2 mm wall thickness. Create a work point at the top center of the cylinder. Create a work axis through the work point and perpendicular to an adjacent face. Right click and select Hole from the marking menu. Select On Point as the placement type and Distance as the termination method. Select the work point and then the work axis. Set the depth to 5 millimeters and the diameter to 125 millimeters. Click OK. You may turn off the visibility of the work point and work axis. From the Modify panel, select Split. Select Split Solid in the dialog box and then click the XZ plane from the Origin folder in the browser. Click OK. Turn off the visibility of the right solid body. As you can see, you can use a combination of freeform and parametric tools to create complex shapes. Additional freeform or parametric shapes could be added, and a combination of freeform, parametric, or direct edits could be applied to refine the model. Use the freeform toolset of Inventor to create complex shapes that normally require additional software. Modeling directly in Inventor can save time and reduce errors. Experiment with the nearly endless combinations of shapes and edits to develop your organic models.